Yorkshire, a region rich in wildlife, renowned for its iconic landscapes and its national nature reserves are where some of the best examples of these can be found. The reserves provide vital sanctuaries for some of our best known, rarest, most loved and elusive wildlife, but also outdoor laboratories, sites of cultural and historic significance that also provide a whole range of public benefits. Natural England works hard to maintain these sites on behalf of the nation and for the wide ranging benefits they offer to society, but with your help we can expand that vital work and carry out even more for these jewels in the crown of Yorkshire's pleasant lands, Yorkshire's natural treasures. Starting at 2,000 feet above sea level, right at the top of the Yorkshire Dales National Park, we have Ingleborough National Nature Reserve. The reserve lies within a dramatic and rugged landscape formed from limestone laid down in shallow tropical seas over 300 million years ago. The area was tempered by glaciers during the last ice age and influenced heavily by human activity over millennia. Amongst that, and as a direct result of that rich influence of human history, at Ingleborough you'll find flower-rich limestone grasslands, with bird's eye primrose, globe flower and a host of orchids making a colourful display throughout the year. Together with the distinctive vistas of limestone pavements, this represents the very essence of postcard Yorkshire. We get lots of butterflies and other pollinators as well, uh, we're still discovering new species uh, which is amazing um, in, the, in this time that you'd think we would have managed to discover everything but we're still, still learning things and finding new things which is really good. Eastwards, towards the lowlands of the Vale of York and lying just south of but within the City of York boundary is Lower Derwent Valley National Nature Reserve. This area is one of the largest and most ecologically intact areas of traditionally managed species rich floodplain meadow left in the UK. The seasonally flooded landscape is a vital stopover site for hundreds of thousands of migrating water birds and makes for an impressive spectacle on a crisp winter day. Flower filled meadows resound to the evocative calls of displaying lapwing, bubbling curlew and drumming snipe in spring and the valley is also home to England's only self-sustaining population of the rare corncrake. Further south, beyond the Humber, we reach the Humberhead Peatlands National Nature Reserve, encompassing Thorn, Ghoul and Hatfield Moors. These moorlands are awe-inspiring in their sense of scale and feeling of remoteness and tranquility. They teem with wildlife yet they are close and accessible to the major towns and cities in South Yorkshire and Northern Lincolnshire. At approximately 3,000 hectares, they are the largest area of lowland raised peatlands in Britain, supporting over 5,000 species of plant and animal. The Humberhead Peatlands is particularly recognised as a nationally important breeding site for the rare nocturnal nightjar. It's a massive landscape up to nearly 3,000 hectares. It's a flat landscape, so long distance views, big skies. The species are rare, so coming to the Humphead Peatlands is a chance to engage and see those different habitats and species that you might not have come across before. Memorable, diverse, and a vital home to countless plants and animal species. The benefits of National Nature Reserves doesn't end there. Let's take a look at exactly what National Nature Reserves can offer for us, for society. National Nature Reserves are outdoor laboratories, areas where people can conduct research and monitoring to answer important questions. At Ingleborough, Natural England staff and volunteers work with universities and research organisations. Together, they collect valuable data on vegetation, soils, air and water quality that is analysed to understand the effects of climate change. We have our specialist volunteers help us with our surveying and monitoring work. So we have quite a few volunteers helping out with the vegetation surveys um, and it's a good 
good reason to get them into different sections of the reserve as well, so we always end up getting quite a few. Volunteers in the Lower Derwent Valley carry out bird monitoring and research to understand migration patterns and how they might be influenced by changes to land use or climate, and how we can best manage various species consistent with wider international conservation objectives. Ecosystem services are benefits provided by nature and healthy, flourishing habitats on our reserves which benefit us, society, as a whole. Humberhead Peatlands has the potential to further help mitigate climate change if restored to its former splendour. The formation of new peat acts as a huge carbon store, removing carbon from the atmosphere. Peat bogs themselves can store water and slow runoff to prevent flooding, a valuable service that is also provided by the meadows and wetland areas of the Lower Derwent Valley. National Nature Reserves, which support and manage not only our natural heritage, but also our built heritage, are great places to visit, be it for some quality wildlife watching, some exercise, or for quiet reflection. Engagement with the natural environment is good for us, both for our mental and physical well-being, and as places of personal learning and inspiration. On our National Nature Reserves, School groups and pupils learn about anything from livestock grazing to geology, making bug hotels to tracking birds across the globe. So there's lots to come and see and do. Through the school holidays we have bespoke events like pond dipping and bug hunting, geocaching, little treasure hunts, all those kind of things that the hook is there to try and get more people to come and understand about the moors and it's good fun too. We also work alongside Ad Astra, an organisation providing an alternative style of learning for young people who find that conventional mainstream education doesn't work for them. They develop various practical skills and gain work experience and qualifications useful for future rural careers, all within a learning environment that is less intimidating and daunting for them to cope with. Visiting a National Nature Reserve can be a social experience and one which helps develop inclusion. Volunteer groups, community events and family activities bring like-minded people together regardless of social or cultural backgrounds. Long-lasting friendships are formed, decreasing social isolation. Volunteering provides positive benefits for mental health. It improves mood, decreases anxiety and reduces stress. National Nature Reserves are just that, a national treasure for the good of the nation and ensuring access and enjoyment for all sections of the local community and society as a whole on these reserves is one of our key outcomes. It is a tranquil site and described as a wilderness area. Recreationally we get lots of people here too, just getting out and enjoying the surroundings and getting away from the everyday grind. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, definitely important for that too. We want to do even more to conserve Yorkshire's National Nature Reserves in a way that makes a real difference to people's lives here in the counties of Yorkshire, but we can only realise this additional potential with your help. We are seeking mutually beneficial partnerships in working side by side to jointly make a bigger difference to our local environment and local communities. There are numerous ways you, your staff or your company could be part of this story. You can contribute as much or as little as you want, with numerous opportunities covering different projects, interests and abilities. Why not encourage your company or staff to visit us for a corporate volunteering day? Whether you're after a team building exercise or a chance to re-energise your batteries before upcoming projects, we can tailor events to suit your needs. It's very much a case of coming along, giving us a hand, it's out of your normal, what you would be doing on a daily basis in the office, and you know, feeling a sense of pride at the end of the day when your muscles hurt, but you've actually helped a species to recover or um, helped someone in a wheelchair come and get round the nature reserve. You might consider sponsoring aspects of our work. 
We have various packages and projects available for sponsors. These are tailored so that you can see and be credited for the direct results of your involvement. The National Nature Reserves of Yorkshire are its green and natural treasures, a public good for the benefit of all. Their history stretches back into the distant past and with your help they will continue to flourish into the far future. I like showing people something for the first time, um, inspiring them to like the, want to do something for the environment is amazing and seeing someone change or experience something for the first time is just awesome. If you would like to learn more about the opportunities to help out with work on National Nature Reserves, please contact Natural England.